Hello and welcome to our Friday update, weekly update, hopefully, uh, continuing at the VB Bud Homestead. I uh, just wanted to show you real quick the eastern redbud trees, Caracas canadensis, that I germinated from seed in these two containers. The one on the left, I haven't messed with it all yet. The one on the right, I emptied out and split about half out of uh, to pot up these 37 redbud seedlings. Uh, so that's 37, <laughs> and I still have all these left to pot up. So if anyone's interested in some eastern red buds, I have a literal plethora, and I'd be happy to get them to you for cheap. Let me know, because they're a great uh, plant for pollinators. Early spring food for bees are one of the first flowering uh, plants in Zone 8 in Virginia really good plant plus they're gorgeous all right so here are my shade garden is growing in nicely the woodland garden sorry about the plane can't help it uh, we've got some well there's a sassafras tree sassafras on the right uh, oak leaf hydrangea in the back and then I've got two arrowwood viburnums in the front which is pretty exciting the blueberries are coming along really well. You can't really see it on that plant because whatever, phone doesn't want to focus. Uh, I've got a flower on my uh, my one blackberry shrub that's actually like growing well this season because the rabbits took down the other two. They're over there. But the blueberries are really coming along. We're going to have a big old bumper crop of blueberries, especially on this jelly bean blueberry shrub. That's what the cultivar is named. I don't know. <laughs> So that's pretty exciting. I've uh, got another blueberry here that is just loaded with fruit. This one's not doing as well, but it's got some on it. Even my brand new one doesn't have hardly any growth to it. It's got some fruit on her. Uh, the potatoes and the basil are coming in nicely. My tomatoes got hit by that frost we had a couple of days ago. You can see on the leaves uh, where the cells were just destroyed by that because they don't like cold. Um, but you can also see where there's new growth. So I am, you know, hopeful that they'll be okay. At least most of them. I've started plucking some uh, blossoms off the strawberries because I've read that that's supposed to help make your crop bigger for the first season. So there we go. I don't see any right now. This particular crown has had a lot of blossoms on it, so I'll probably stop plucking them at this point, but we'll see. I need to figure out what to do with my cranberries. There they are. <laughs> tomatoes, tomatoes. Finally got some squash plants that came up, so those are exciting. That's butternut winter squash. I've got some peppers that also got a little nuked by the frost, but they also look like they're probably going to make it. Um... Spinach didn't didn't care. Spinach is still fine. Uh, same thing with the mustard greens, the kale. They're all cooking right along. I want to come over here. I got to figure out a better way to get around this table. Um, so these are some aromatherapy plants that I got from Burpee Gardens. Sorry. Uh, we've got mint, peppermint specifically, um, patchouli, uh, <laughs> which is really exciting. Also got nuked by the frost. Um, but again, you know, there's like some little, little leaves down there. Can you see in the shadow of the phone? Sure. Uh, did I not bring, oh, it's over there. And then rosemary. All of these are good for memory. Hoping to do some aromatherapy stuff to help my partner's father uh, with some Alzheimer's problems. So that's the food forest coming along. Peaches, there's our tree in the food forest. Little bird. Look at that. This is just tons of them. So many peaches. Peaches. So, um, also, I've got some passion fruit vines coming up in both containers. Passion fruits. And the sugar snaps. Holy crap. Can we talk about sugar snaps? I'm going to have so many sugar snap peas. I'm ridiculously excited. They freeze well, I guess. So, that'll be nice practice some food storage 
uh, homesteading strategies, which is pretty exciting. And my cucumbers, look at those baby vines. Cucumbers are coming along too. We're gonna have tons of cucumbers. So overall, I'm really excited about the food forest. We survived the frost and we're looking forward to a good growing season. Y'all have a great day.